Hello world, this is Jeffrey, jgb 146 Blake, coming to you with episode 2 of the Tales of Trio Tapu Volt. Let's get a match. Okay, we're against a uh, lightning fighting deck. Flip heads here. There's a decent chance that this is a Tapu Coco. GX deck with a pseudo woo as a tech. Uh, there's also a decent chance that it is a Lycan Rock Raichu deck. We'll stick our free attacker out here. And uh, we will not bench Tabu Lele. Not yet. Okay, we see a Pikachu, so it is the Raichu Lycan Rock deck. goes first and binges a Bridget of their own. Well, binges a Lele to get a Bridget. We top deck a third Grass Energy. Uh, that's not going to do us a whole lot of good, but um, Tabu Lele put in some work. And we're basically going to do similar things to what they've done. Okay, we do see a pseudo wudu out. Um, so that means what we get off of Bridget is going to be all we get. Okay, we see a Lysander here. There's one in our hands. So no Lysander, no in. Our prized fan club's there. Both Sycamores are there. All of our Skylas are there. Um, we see Grubbins, we see Vicavolts. Uh, all of our Pokemon appear to be here as well. That's a little scary. So let's see what else we can find. Heavy Ball's there, Field Blower, Nest Ball. Our Switches, we're missing one rare candy. We're missing a Choice Band, a Floatstone. We're missing couple grass energy and a lightning energy. Okay. All of our prizes were at the back of our deck. So in this match, um, Lycanroc will hit us really hard. Uh, GX attack. So we want to be prepared for that at least. Um, he's going to hit us really hard because we can't avoid having a fairly full bench. Uh, I think we want to grab two Grubbin and a Bulu for now. And then we'll click Done. Um, it is in our favor that he's weak to grass. Uh, so I would normally like to go ahead and attach a grass energy, um, but I think we want to play encounter to more or less force our opponent to um, in us. Uh, we could hit for 30. Uh, it's not really doing enough. And instead we can use encounter to get a Vicavolt. So we do that, and that's our turn. Chances are our opponent is going to end. We'll lose that Vicavolt, but that's okay. See a Skyfield come out, powering up those Pikachu, Raichu, um, Mass Attacks, and uh, allowing our opponent to set up with a full bench, Raichu is able to take out Tapu Bulu. That's unfortunate. And unfortunately as well, Lycanroc would be able to take out the uh, Vicavolt GX. So we sort of have to choose our battles here. The 
biggest weakness. We'll see. We're not going to get in, so we will get a Vicavolt out this turn, um, which will allow us to start attacking. Let's see. Circle. Circle. Oh, 140. Uh, so with full bench, he doesn't quite KO Tapu Bulu. I was I was off in my count. Uh, well, we definitely have to get our rare candy, the Skyla. And we'll use it on the middle Grubbin to evolve into Vicavolt. And then we will attach and strong charge. The, the plus side of this match for us is that we never have to discard our energy. No, I do not want to discard. Charge bug comes. Uh, we will go ahead and evolve with the charge bug for the grubbin on the bench. Um, I'm inclined to think that we will actually switch over um, to Vigavolt GX, uh, but it'll depend a little bit on what we see. So our opponent is playing a Kakui, which if he's able to bench two more Pokemon, he is going to take a KO this turn. That'll be a little painful for us if it happens. Gets three Pokemon back into his deck. And he brings out the Rockruff. So, we can take an easy KO on a Rockruff, or we can Lysander one of the Raichus. Well now it's two prizes, I don't know that we can skip taking a KO on the Lycanroc. Which is good, because it allows us to play our in. We don't even need to. Okay. So first off, we are evolving. Second, I think we want to go ahead and attach the grass and the ability to this guy so that next turn we will be able potentially to evolve into Vicavolt GX. Um, although Vicavolt GX does not take a KO currently. Um, so we will switch back into Bulu. And I think I'm really torn, but I think we want to in it gives our opponent new cards too. Um, chances are good that he's holding on to something he can use. So I'm going to go ahead and play the end. Okay. So we can now bench another Bulu. And we can start getting him ready as well. That's helpful. Uh, well, Nature's Judgment, not discarding energy, and taking two prizes. Well, that's nice. And now we draw a rare candy. We don't need the rare candy now.
Pokemon again. Plays Rescue Stretcher to get back three Pokemon. And uh, benches a Shaman. We end him into a Shaman. That's a bit of a shame, man. Yes, I know that was lame. So we have one Grass Energy in the discard so far. Um, we will probably... I'm assuming he's going to get the KO with this Raichu. In which case, we will probably play the Energy Recycler. Then play the in. Oh, he's going to play an in. Well, that hurts us. And then it doesn't hurt us. Okay. So, we can take two KOs with Vicavolt GX. I think that's what we're going to do. How many Pokemon does he have down here? None now. Okay. So we evolved to Vigavolt GX. Uh, the bad thing here is that we're weak to fighting. The good thing is that we're going to kill all of his fighting. So we'll attach a strong charge. One, two. That'll go here and here and then we will play Skyla to get that energy recycler to put energy back in our deck energy recycler one two three four we don't have a fifth one we'd put it in if we could uh, and now we're going to Gigatron GX and get KOs on the Rockrops basically. This also has the side benefit. Uh, unless he can Lysander, he absolutely cannot take a KO. And even if he does, we have the return KO. I was a little slow in clicking well played there. I was going to let him take his turn. But yeah, I would say that Vicable GX was pretty clutch there. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. See you next time.